Did you know that only one in three adults are financially literate? That's a pretty scary fact. But hold on, it gets even crazier. Women, the poor and lower educated people are more likely to suffer from financial illiteracy. So to ensure that you're not one of the financially illiterate people out there, we're sharing 13 ways to increase your financial IQ. Make sure to stick around until the end to make sure you increase your financial IQ. Our first stop is to break free from the finance matrix. Imagine a world where people follow financial advice without questioning its validity. This is the finance matrix, a realm of conventional wisdom where one size fits all advice is the norm. It's where phrases like save for a rainy day or buy low, sell high are accepted without skepticism. But to increase your financial IQ, it's crucial to step out of this matrix and start questioning these norms. Ask yourself, why should I save for a rainy day? And how much should I save? Or when is low actually low? And when is high really high? It's about understanding the why behind the advice. This will help you make better, personalized financial decisions. After all, your financial journey is unique to you and it deserves a unique approach. Remember, financial wisdom comes from understanding, not blind adherence. Next, we unlock the magic of the rule of 72. This powerful rule is a simple yet effective tool in the world of finance, allowing you to estimate the time required to double your money. So how does it work? You simply divide the number 72 by the annual rate of return. For instance, if you have an investment yielding a 6% annual return, it would take approximately 12 years for your investment to double. Now let's add a pinch of reality. Returns aren't typically constant and the market has its ups and downs. However, the rule of 72 still provides a valuable ballpark estimate. It's like having a financial crystal ball giving you a sneak peek into your financial future. Remember, the rule of 72 isn't a precise prediction tool, but it is a fast, handy trick for wealth estimation. With the rule of 72, you can quickly estimate your wealth growth. Now we delve into the fascinating world of behavioral finance. This field combines psychology and economics to explain why and how people make financial decisions. It's like peering into the human mind to uncover the motivations behind our financial choices. For instance, I ever noticed how emotions can sway your decisions? That's behavioral finance in action. Fear and greed often drive market trends, leading to bubbles and crashes. Consider the dot-com bubble of the late 90s. Investors, driven by irrational exuberance, pumped money into internet-based companies, inflating their values beyond reason. Eventually, the bubble burst, leading to significant financial losses. This is a classic example of how human behavior can shape financial markets. But it's not just about market trends. Understanding your own financial behavior can help you make better decisions. Recognizing that you're prone to impulse buying, for instance, can help you curb that habit. Understanding behavioral finance can significantly improve your financial decisions. We now turn our attention to zero-based budgeting. This approach to personal finance requires you to start every budgeting period with a clean slate, justifying every penny spent instead of carrying over the last period's budget. It's a method that promotes mindful spending and can be a powerful tool for managing your finances. Let's break it down. First, list all your income sources for the month. Next, identify and categorize your monthly expenses. Think about needs versus wants. Him, then, allocate every dollar of your income to these categories until you're left with zero. Yes, zero. That's the essence of zero-based budgeting. Now, this doesn't mean you spend all your money. Savings, investments, and debt repayments are also categories. The aim is to ensure every dollar has a purpose, which eliminates wasteful spending. Remember, it requires discipline and regular review, but the rewards are worth it. Zero-based budgeting is a game-changer for efficient money management. Learning from others is a key to financial wisdom. So let's dive into the sea of financial successes and failures. The story of Warren Buffett, the Oracle of Omaha, is a classic example of financial success. His long-term investment strategy and value investing approach turned him into one of the world's wealthiest individuals. On the other hand, we have stories of financial failure, such as the infamous case of Enron. This energy giant's collapse due to accounting fraud reminds us of the importance of financial transparency and integrity. 
As we navigate through these stories, we uncover valuable lessons. From Buffett, we learn the power of patience and investing in value. The Enron debacle teaches us the perils of unethical practices and the significance of due diligence. The takeaway here is that every story, whether it's a triumph or a tragedy, is a lesson in the world of finance. Remember, every story is a lesson in the world of finance. It's time to sharpen your critical reading skills with financial news. You see, financial news doesn't always tell the whole story. It's easy to get caught up in the buzzwords, the market fluctuations, and the expert opinions. But remember, not all that glitters is gold. When you come across a piece of financial news, don't just accept it at face value. Ask questions. What's the source of this information? Is it reliable? What's the context? Is there a hidden agenda? You might also want to cross-check the information with other sources. Diversifying your news intake can help you get a more rounded perspective. Don't be swayed by sensational headlines. Look for the facts, the figures, the trends. Remember, the goal isn't to absorb every bit of information thrown your way, but to filter out the noise and find the valuable insights. Because when it comes to financial news, it's not just about reading, it's about reading critically. Critical reading of financial news can reveal valuable insights. Are you ready for some financial experiments? It's one thing to understand a concept in theory, but it's quite another to put it into practice. This is where financial experiments come into play. Think of it as a personal finance lab where you can test theories and strategies before implementing them into your financial plan. It's a safe space for trial and error, and trust me, there's a lot to learn from both. For instance, you could start by tracking every penny you spend for a month. This experiment will give you a clear picture of where your money goes and might even surprise you. Once you have this information, you can make adjustments to your spending habits or try living on a bare bones budget for a month. This experiment can help uncover areas where you can cut back and save more. Experiments can turn financial concepts into real life experience. So why not give it a shot? Let's tune into the world of financial podcasts. These audio gems are a treasure trove of financial wisdom, insights, and strategies. And the best part, you can listen to them while commuting, cleaning, or even working out. Podcasts like Planet Money by NPR or The Dave Ramsey Show are filled with practical advice and thought-provoking discussions. You can dive into the world of investing with the Investors Podcast Network or explore the nuances of personal finance with So Money by Farnoosh Tarabi. Want to learn from seasoned entrepreneurs? How I Built This with Guy Raz is your go-to, and if you're looking to understand the economy better, Freakonomics Radio is a must-listen. Remember, the aim is not just to consume information, but to understand, analyze, and apply it to your own financial journey. So take out those earbuds, pick a podcast, and start learning. Staying informed has never been easier with financial podcasts. Books can be your best friends in your financial journey. Diving headfirst into the world of personal finance can be daunting, but literature can help pave the way. The right books can provide you with a solid foundation, demystify complex concepts, and offer actionable tips to manage and grow your wealth. Consider starting with classics like Rich Dad, Poor Dad by Robert Kiyosaki, a compelling narrative that challenges conventional wisdom about money or The Total Money Makeover by Dave Ramsey, which offers a step-by-step -step plan for financial fitness. For those interested in investing, The Intelligent Investor by Benjamin Graham is a definitive guide. However, don't limit yourself to the classics. Plenty of modern authors provide fresh perspectives and up-to-date advice. I Will Teach You to Be Rich by Ramit Sethi offers a no-nonsense approach to personal finance and investing. Remember, every person's financial journey is unique. So explore a variety of books to find the advice that resonates with you. Reading is a powerful tool to deepen your financial understanding. Visualize your financial future with a financial vision board. It's an effective tool for making your financial goals more tangible and real. Think of this board as a visual representation of your financial aspirations. It could include images or words that represent what you aim to achieve financially, be it owning a home, traveling the world, or achieving financial independence. This vision board serves as a daily reminder of your goals and can significantly boost your motivation to work towards them. But a vision board is only half of the equation. To make your financial vision a reality, you need a strategy. And that's where goal-based investing comes in. 
Goal-based investing aligns your investment decisions with your individual financial goals. Instead of focusing solely on returns, this approach prioritizes what you want to achieve with your money. It allows you to tailor your investments based on your specific needs, time horizons, and risk tolerance, making your financial journey more personalized and purposeful. A clear vision can guide your financial planning and investing. Simplify your investing strategy with dollar cost averaging. This concept, often abbreviated as DCA, is a technique investors use to reduce the impact of volatility on large purchases of financial assets like stocks. Here's how it works. Instead of investing a lump sum all at once, you break it down into smaller periodic investments. This way, you're buying more shares when prices are low and fewer when prices are high, resulting in a lower average cost per share over time. Let's run through an example. Imagine you have $3,000 to invest. Instead of buying all at once, you decide to invest $1,000 each month for three months. If the price fluctuates each month, you'll purchase shares at different price points, potentially reducing the risk of investing at a bad time. Remember, DCA is not about timing the market. It's about time in the market. Dollar cost averaging can be a powerful tool for long-term investors. And let automation take care of your finances. Imagine if you didn't have to worry about paying bills on time or transferring money into your savings account each month. That's where the magic of automation steps in. It's like having a personal financial assistant working around the clock, ensuring everything runs smoothly. With automation, you can set up your bank account to automatically pay your bills, invest in your retirement fund, and even incrementally increase your savings. It helps minimize human error, saves time, and can even prevent late payment fees. Setting up automation is quite straightforward. Most banks and financial institutions offer these services, and all it takes is a few clicks. You can set up automatic payments for your bills, auto transfers to your savings or investment accounts, and even automate your debt repayment plan. Remember, the goal is to make your money work for you, not the other way around. Automation can make managing finances a breeze. Imagine financial freedom at an early age. That's what FIRE principles can do. The acronym FIRE stands for Financial Independence, Retire Early. It's a movement that encourages saving aggressively and investing wisely to achieve financial independence and retire much earlier than traditional age norms. The core principles of FIRE revolve around frugality investment and rejection of consumerism. It's about maximizing your savings rate by earning more and spending less than investing those savings in assets that generate passive income. It's about breaking free from the cycle of living paycheck to paycheck and instead building a life that's not defined by work alone. There are countless success stories of individuals who've embraced these principles, like the teacher who retired at 35 or the couple who said goodbye to their nine to five jobs in their early 40s. These are ordinary people who've achieved extraordinary financial freedom through the power of fire. Embrace FIRE principles and pave your way to early financial independence. As we near the end, let's recap the key points of our journey. We've embarked on a quest to escape the finance matrix, challenging the status quo and questioning conventional financial wisdom. We've mastered the rule of 72, a simple yet powerful tool for wealth estimation. We ventured into the realm of behavioral finance, understanding how human psychology impacts our financial decisions. We then embrace the discipline of zero-based budgeting, laying a solid foundation for efficient money management. Our journey also led us to study the successes and failures of notable figures, learning from their experiences. We've honed our critical reading skills, sifting through financial news to distill valuable insights. And finally, we've sparked our curiosity with financial experiments, challenging ourselves to learn by doing. These strategies, my friends, are more than just tactics. They're transformative steps, each one a stepping stone on the path to a higher financial IQ. Continuing with our recap, let's revisit the remaining strategies. We delved into the importance of challenging yourself with financial experiments and how they can provide first-hand insights into your spending habits and financial decision-making. We also explored tuning into influential financial podcasts to stay informed and gain diverse perspectives on finance. We underscored the value of reading influential personal finance books, which can deepen your understanding 
and broaden your financial knowledge. We also discussed setting up a financial vision board and utilizing goal-based investing, a strategy that aligns your investments with your financial aspirations. Experimenting with dollar cost averaging was another key strategy we discussed, which can be a game changer for long-term investors. Finally, we discussed automating your finances for efficient money management and the potential for financial independence through the study of the FIRE principles. Armed with these strategies, you are now better equipped to navigate your financial journey. We have traversed the path of financial wisdom together. From escaping the finance matrix to embracing the principles of financial independence retire early, we've explored 13 ways to boost your financial IQ. This journey is not about mastering complex jargon or equations. It's about understanding the essence of money management and making informed choices. Remember, knowledge is power. The more you understand about finances, the better you can navigate the ever-changing financial landscape. Each strategy we've discussed is a tool. Use them wisely, adapt them to your circumstances, and never stop learning. The world of finance is dynamic, and so too should your approach be. Keep questioning, keep exploring, and keep growing. Embrace financial experiments, read widely, and tune into financial podcasts. The quest for financial wisdom is a lifelong endeavor. Remember your financial journey is unique. Make it a successful one with your enhanced financial IQ.